through the carbonate, that's how I got free. Jump it back off because there's no stopping me. Postmodern player, sample tastic, flows it frastic. I get drastic, hey, watch the plastic. Yo, I name check and leave. Welcome to the MacGuffin, episode 217. I'm Spencer. I'm Greg. Today we're going to give you our DVD rundown for the week of January 1st, 2013. We lived! The we world lived! lived. Ah. I'm so surprised. Yes. Shocking. Yes. Uh, this week's a little bit weird since yes. technically the week of the 25th, a.k.a. Mm -hmm. Christmas week. Uh, didn't have any real releases. Yes, but they came out the Monday before this Tuesday's release. So Which we're gonna makes no sense. No, it doesn't. So <laughs> technically, the thirty-first releases we're including with the first. Yes, just because they're good. Yeah, and we want to talk about That's them. Definitely. So the first one we're gonna talk about, one of the big films to come out last year, Ryan Johnson's Looper. Yeah. This is the time travel -y movie starring, uh, let's see, Joseph Gordon Levitt, yes. Bruce Willis, Emily Blunt, mm -hmm. all sorts of good folks in it. Uh, Jeff Daniels. Yes, yes. Jeff Daniels, great actor as yes. well. But, uh, it, I mean, fun, fun film. Oh, yeah. A lot. I, 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 was, I enjoyed it. I mean, if Safety Not Guaranteed hadn't come out last year, there'd be no question this would be the best time travel movie. But <laughs> because of that, we have a debate. It's true. I think, uh, what is it, Jason Reitman was just recently talking about how the script for this film should get a best writing, a best screenplay nomination. It, was an, it, it definitely debate. deserves to be in that. There's been some really interesting ones. Robot and Frank. Like, yeah. There's any number of handful yeah. ones that have come out this year that are like Very deserving unique. to be discussed. Mm -hmm. So I, I could see that. That's mm -hmm. sure. But in terms of the release, it's I mean, it's got a pretty solid package. Yeah. Unfortunately, it doesn't do the Blu-ray DVD digital copy. Yes. But you can get you know Blu-ray with an ultraviolet copy. DVD ultraviolet copy, so that's something good. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a feature-length commentary with Ryan Johnson, Joseph Gordon-Levitt, and Emily Blunt. Bet that'd be interesting. I'm sure it'll be good, yeah. but it's sort of like, why no Bruce Willis? Why can't he get on <laughs> He's that probably out? too busy. Or he's probably like, yeah, I, 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 I've shot a guy in this scene. I, I bet he doesn't I mean, care about exactly. That's what commentary I'm saying. Like, tracks. Yeah, he's probably not one. But you know, I anyway. see him giving like a very uh, John McClane esque stare at someone when they asked him for commentary. Probably. Just, like, really? You want no? There's a uh, making of featurette, Ooh. which would probably be very interesting to discuss. You know, sort of the time travel beyond the film. Yes. There's some deleted scenes with commentary. Mm -hmm. Always a good thing. Yes. And, uh, of course, a couple of the more interesting, unique ones that this has is there's a, a featurette on the score of Looper, uh, ooh, very or scoring nice. to the movie, which I think is a really underappreciated, overlooked yes. aspect of filmmaking. Yes. And it also has an animated trailer for the movie, which I think is fun. Oh, yeah, I think I've seen that. It's like rotoscoped or something. I, I forget. Someone I did seen. Someone did it. It was after the before the film actually came out. Someone did like a really, really high-quality animated version of the trailer. It's pretty neat. I've seen it. It's very cool. Mm -hmm. um, and additionally, the Blu-ray has uh, a feature out about the science of time travel Ooh. specifically, which is something you and I are both very interested yeah, in. Yeah, especially considering Shane Carruth, writer-director of Primer, worked with Ryan Johnson on some of the time travel aspects of this film before he worked on it. So. Yes, and that's a pretty thorough film in and of itself, yes. so if you, yes. if you believe that. <laughs> and then there's uh, some more additional scenes with DVD com or deleted commentary, mm -hmm. deleted scenes with commentary. Blah, 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 blah. Yes. Um, yes. <laughs> anyway, a great film. A decent package with yeah, some, not bad. Good, some good special features. I wish they had all the formats together, but you know, maybe I'm just a whiner. Maybe, uh, maybe you know, you just need to go back and close that loop and... Oh, have snap. It. See? You Bringing see? it back see? around. See? It's almost as if I've seen the movie. Yeah, uh, <laughs> Almost as if, yeah. <laughs> I have. <laughs> uh, moving right along, also coming out the 31st, yes. we have Justified Season 3. Mm -hmm. This is the series uh, starring Timothy Oliphant mm -hmm. about on FX. On FX, about a U.S. Marshal in Kentucky, rural Kentucky, where he was born and yeah, raised. Yeah, right, where he grew up, right? All sorts of shenanigans that are being done there by, mm -hmm. you know... The old, local color. The local <laughs> folks that he grew up with who yes. are like friends of his family. His family, in fact, is one of the problems yeah. that he runs like into. Childhood friends, things like that. His dad. Well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, it's a very, very good show. I definitely think it's one of my favorite shows on television right now. Interesting. Timothy Oliphant's excellent. really been FX, kicking it in the last few years. Yeah, they've got some solid programming going on. You know, was it Sons of Anarchy? Mm -hmm. It's always sunny in Philadelphia. Yep. All sorts of good stuff on Louis. FX. Louis. Yeah. Uh, and this is just continues right along with that. And it's got some decent stuff in terms of the the release. I mean, since it's a TV season, usually they only do like the thing itself. They don't yeah. give you digital copies. They don't yes. give you DVDs. So sadly, it's a single format option. But it's got a. 
9 cast and crew commentaries. It's got deleted scenes, outtakes. It's got um, a set tour. It's got an anatomy of a stunt. Nice. Which I think is really cool. Again, you know, much like scores, I think stunt mm -hmm. work is largely forgotten. I mean, yeah. at least scores have an Academy Award. It's true. Stunts get nothing. It's I mean, there, there's, yeah. I'm sure there's award shows for stunts. Yeah, there's, there's no like actual stuntman Oscars. Maybe that's a technical award or something that nobody hmm. cares about. Because, you know, there are other Academy Awards that are technical it's awards. True. Nobody knows those. <laughs> nobody respects those. It's uh, I mean, it's sad, but true. I, yeah, I like, mean, we only remember sound engineering is even a thing when movies like Jurassic Park and The Lord of the Rings get awards. But that's also that also usually makes it into the show itself. Like there's no, like yeah. there's like a <laughs> special true. technical right. show the day right. before, and they're like, "Here are some like yeah. highlights from that show." Best <laughs> best boy. Yeah, it's like a little <laughs> scroll up the screen yeah. that goes like through all the awards. Runners. Like congratulations to them. Mm -hmm. Sadly, this is probably one of those things. It's, weirdly enough, maybe it's just because I'm old, but the cover of this season it l reminded me of the Miramax guy because it's like I think it's Timothy Olyphant sitting mm -hmm. in a, yeah, a yeah, chair yeah. from the side, and all I can yeah. think of was the Miramax guy getting blown back. But I'm old, so. Yeah. But, you know, it's it's a good one. And finally, the last feature edit has is a conversation with Timothy Oliphant mm. and Walton Goggins, who's very nice. a very talented actor who really seems to be making his way into films and stuff now. Yes. Which is a great thing. I mean, he was great on The Shield, mm -hmm. if you remember that show. And yeah. he sort of plays... Uh, one of those gray characters mm -hmm. in Justified, where he's got good ties and bad ties, yes. and it's sort of unclear at any time where he is in the spectrum of that. So, very it's a show of gray areas, which is what makes it pretty interesting. Yeah. The last one we want to talk about this week is uh, Cosmopolis, mm -hmm. the David Cronenberg film. Yes, with from, uh, Robert Pattinson. Yes. This is a story about a billionaire who sort of travels across New York and has to deal with all the characters that sort of interact with him as the sort of world devolves mm -hmm. in front of him. I'm Not surprisingly, as any Cronenberg film, it's hard to summarize. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I, mean, it's inter it's, I mean, it's interesting to think that uh, Robert Pattinson was the star of this movie because, mm -hmm. I mean, generally you think of him as like the cookie cutter, Harry Potter, Twilight star. So yes. for David Cronenberg to put his faith in Robert Pattinson, I think really speaks to his growth as an actor and mm -hmm. maybe the potential of him after yes. the Twilight series is now He's ended. very happy that Twilight's over. He's, oh, yeah. he's hated that character the entire time. But it's a paycheck. So. But you also have good sporting characters like Paul Giamatti. That's in the right, film. yes. And uh, I think Jay Baruchel is in it as well. Mm -hmm. I mean, David Cronenberg is one of the most interesting filmmakers yeah. of the past quarter century, yeah, I would say. Yeah, definitely I mean, a coin flip type of guy on which side he's going to land on. But I mean, um, you, there's definitely. I love him, but he still had some misses. There's some. I mean, things like his remake of The Fly are classics. Videodrome mm -hmm. is definitely a classic. Yes. There get some weird ones like Crash. Like, yeah. wound, wound fucking, I don't know if I'll ever come around on. But, uh, yes. it's, I mean, he's a very unique voice in terms of film. Definitely. And this definitely goes into that same, like, back catalog yeah. of films. In terms of this release, it's fairly light on special features. There's a commentary by David Cronenberg, which I hear is a little dry. Hmm. But he's still an interesting dude. So yeah. I imagine even dry Cronenberg is interesting Cronenberg. That's the hope. You've got uh, Citizens of Cosmopolis, which is an in-depth documentary, 106 minutes actually, Dang. Uh, about the characters in the movie and the story and whatnot. So that's that's pretty awesome that you mm -hmm. get a feature-length documentary yeah. along with the film. And you also get interviews with the cast and crew, though I hear most of that occurs during the Citizens of Cosmopolis uh, I see, so a little Document. bit carryover. Yeah, kind so of there's thing. a little re That's repetition. But, you know, it's still, it's still pretty yeah. good to get a commentary by Cronenberg and a feature length documentary. That's a pretty yeah. good deal. I wish it came in all the formats. Sadly, it only comes in you know, Blu ray, DVD, etc. But, but you, you know, know, what you're going to do? Mm -hmm. It is gonna... 2013 now. I guess yeah, we have to get Exactly. Pick our this format. is January 1st. This is the <laughs> first one. And really the only one to come out on January 1st proper of interest. Yeah. There's, yeah. I mean, there's like, Being Human Season 2. Yeah. And then there's, and there's just some, like, like nothing. fitness television yeah, TV. Jillian Michaels or something. <laughs> yeah. but. Anyway, let us know what uh, DVDs you're picking up from the last week and this week mm -hmm. at MacGuffinPodcast.com. Join us next week, or this Friday, the yes. 4th, as we talk about Forrest Whitaker in honor of a dark truth. Mm -hmm. uh, as always, you can do us at MacGuffin. MacGuffinPodcast.com, Twitter.com slash MacGuffinCast, Facebook.com slash MacGuffinPodcast. Uh, phone number, 323-761-9842. We're on iTunes. We're on Miro. We're on Blip.tv. We're on Roku. Check in and get glue. Get some badges. All that good stuff. Mm -hmm. And uh, we'll see you next time.
Space game. 